at the Hall of Justice. What's going on, everyone? Welcome back to Just BSing. Well, the day has arrived. We've talked about Wave 8. We've talked about the Amazon exclusive Batman set. I guess we have to talk about the San Diego Comic-Con exclusive Superpowers Batman Wonder Woman and Superman Black and White three pack. A lot of people like this. A lot of people really don't. And our initial impressions based on the images, not great. And some other people are finding this. Check AliExpress guys if you're interested. Make sure it's a legit seller if you if you would like to get this and aren't going to San Diego Comic-Con. But we are gonna take a look at this, to unbox and review for you guys, let you know our thoughts, let you know if we even think it's worth looking for. Now, regardless of what we say, people are completists and they're gonna still want this. So we have been informed by other people who have picked this up. Uh, in, f in fact, a friend of ours from another YouTube channel called Blast Process, Bruno, he picked this up. It's very difficult to get out of the interior packaging. So we are not going to attempt to do that. We're just gonna show you what it looks like in the casing, which frankly, I think it's supposed to kind of be displayed that way. I don't think it was really designed to even remove the figures um, because it's kind of that exclusive set. And this box art is so much different than all of the other superpowers box art. I think that's really kind of how you're supposed to display it. But we will pop those pictures up from Blast Process that Bruno shared with us. Go check his channel out. He's got his review already up, so you can take a look at some different perspectives. Thank you, Bruno. Appreciate you letting us use your photos. So without further ado, we will jump right in, get this guy open, and to prove I have not even, I wanted our reaction on camera to be as legit as possible in first time seeing it outside of photos, the cellophane is still on this. So I have not even opened this up to check that out. We'll do that first and then we will get right into it. So, get this, get this cellophane off. All right, so first off we will take a look at the packaging as always. Now, to me, just again, based off of the images, the box art here is the star of this show. This packaging looks very, very cool. Again, doesn't really look like any of the other superpowers packaging, so people that like to display on card, this is gonna look a little bit different, but it's really good. And I think it will still look great next to all of the other superpowers packaging. Maybe like a centerpiece of it, where it's kind of something that all of the other colorful packaging expands out from. The box art on the back looks very cool. In fact, you you made an observation about that box art. Yeah, uh, I was taking a look at this, and to me it looks, like Jim Lee, pretty much one of my favorite uh, kind of artists. So uh, he did a lot of the uh, Superman, Wonder Woman, Batman. I loved a lot of his uh, his artwork. Matter of fact, when I sold a lot of my comics, I kept a lot of comics with just his mm -hmm. art style on here, just because I, you know. So this 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 packaging on this box is just amazing. Reminiscent of Jim Lee. Not sure if it actually is. Not sure guys, if it is. I don't see it on the box, and just unfortunately, we're not as knowledgeable as so many of you yeah. out there. So let us know if you know who that artist is. But I love, yeah, even the front, the cover here. This this box is just this box is just really awesome. The scan me. Actually, I did this just a little while ago. Um, it's a dead link. It's four oh four. But it goes to McFarland's site specifically for this box. There I, will be. <laughs> I think maybe. Now that's that's odd that you would have to scan it to go purchase it. Uh, so we'll see. We'll see how that works out. Maybe something during San Diego Comic Con it'll show. Yeah. Right? There'll be something that'll pop up. Um, this is, of course, the gold label and is limited to 5,100 pieces. Now, something to be aware of that I'm seeing here is when you're touching this. It is pretty fingerprinty on on this actual box, I guess, because of that that kind of matte black, and I believe the inside is too. So we're done talking about the package. Let's go ahead and take a look at these figures. We'll see what we actually think about them. Moment of truth. Sliding this off. Slides off. That's slides cool. off. Okay. We'll put that right there. Yeah. And here are. I'm gonna turn it around. You turn that around. Yeah. yeah. That's because I like that. Like that art. I like that. I like that. <laughs> I like that. Here we are. These are the figures in the case. Again, I really think this is how it should be displayed. I don't think they should come out. I will, and this is very fingerprinty too, so I don't don't want to mess this up too much. But if if you do remove this, there's a there's a box holding it kind of in place back there, and the capes go through the oh, all black back. Capes. Of, yeah, okay. all all black capes, no symbols, no symbols, which I think is a missed opportunity for Superman, because I think if you'd have put a symbol on Superman's cape, it would have given you that George Reeves vibe. Dude, yeah, that would've been awesome. Um, so a little bit disappointing there, but yeah, this is kind of, they're, they're shoved through that, and this is very, very thin. If you guys remember the old Toy Biz Batmobile, 
um, that had the shields that went over it. This is a very similar kind of plastic to that, which we all know. I mean, you got that Christmas morning, it was ripped up by <laughs> Christmas in the evening. So that, maybe this is, yeah. <laughs> Not going to try to remove these, like I said, but we will pop up some very close up images of them out of the packaging. I'm gonna just go ahead and slide this guy back in there if I can. <laughs> so we can see that we have Batman in black and white with a yellow bat symbol. We have Wonder Woman in black and white with the yellow Wonder Woman symbol, and then Superman with just red, with just red. Now I think. Probably would have been cool if they'd added the yellow on the Superman symbol as well. And because of the packaging, where it looks more gold than yellow, we know they have gold paint. I think it might have been cool to put those symbols in gold versus yellow. Maybe that's just for me. Wonder Woman's is looking a bit more gold than Batman. Um, so I think Wonder Woman's color on Batman, and again, I really would have preferred that in the Superman symbol as well. I think that would have looked little bit better. Had one of our one of our sub subscribers, Nick, who also received this, uh, and he said, "Hey, these are these are a lot better in person than they looked like in in pictures." And uh, Nick, I don't want to say you're wrong, <laughs> but but buddy, I'm not feeling it the same the same way you were. I'm I'm still getting the same vibe. It's not it's not terrible. I don't think. I mean, and and there's something to be said for making something like this, which is just straight repaints in very cool packaging, a Comic-Con exclusive that may not be as widely available because I think if, they had a, if they'd done something that were new characters or something like that, that would have caused a bigger uproar. Um, so for Completus, this is gonna be disappointing because it's gonna be harder to get this, but is it really something you, you have to have? I don't know. I don't know. What do you think? Gimme, gimme, gimme. You, you take a look. Let All me know right, what you think. So let me take a look, see. Um... Yeah, I gotta agree with you. I really wish that they really would have gone with gold uh, on actually both Batman and Wonder Woman for that. Maybe even a little bit of gold behind Superman's logo. You know, that would have been really cool. I didn't realize that it was just just the red. Just the red. You know, but at the same time, it's kind of cool they did that with Superman. Um, it reminds me of uh, whenever they have like angry Superman and he's like doing the Batman coming in from the dark and just his. Oh, you his, just see the red. Just the up. red. Yeah. yeah. So he just needs red eyes then right there too. But <laughs> yeah. so that that's kind of cool from that that um, that perspective. I am uh, a little bit happier with this though because, or with Superman, because when I was looking at a lot of the pictures, it always looked to me like there was like a gold tint kind of to his paint job. You know, so to, to me it looked like they had like this this Superman and then they just kind of just painted it just all black, you know? So I don't see any of that, that, that no, kind of a- No, it's pretty it's, solid it's, looking It's pretty solid, white. like, uh, yeah, black black and white. So just, this the North, yeah, it's the, yeah, same, the, the same, same. Everything's same, the same. Everything's the exact same. Yeah, I gotta say, I'm not, uh, I'm yeah. I, I, I'd kind of just pass on it just in general. I think it looks kind of cool. I would actually just get it just to have the box on display. Right. Yeah. I think I like the box itself more than the actual character. I agree. <laughs> I agree. I'm I'm in the same boat now, guys. This is our opinion. I know there are some people out there again that that really do kind of like this. If you know for the for the cool factor for the uh, black and white. McFarlane's done some other black and white figures in the past in the seven inch line that I think came out really well. This, yeah, it's it's not my favorite. It is interesting though that the Wonder Woman does not have the stars on her trunks. She's got, she's just got lines drawn there. So the- well, that's the, uh, this, no, no, it's not, it's- No, and even the, the box art shows her with the stars on the trunks. I don't remember where I've seen those Wonder Woman trunks before. I just tried looking really quick at see if it was the new 52 design, but it wasn't. They, she also had stars um, yeah. there as well. But. Wonder Woman is also, I just, I just noticed this, guys. Wonder Woman is the only one that has two accents of paint. She has her tiara in gold as well. Like, I, I agree with you. There did look like there was kind of a gold tint to Superman. Um, but for whatever reason, for me, the Superman with the trunks here, in that black and white, it just, it, you need that color separation, I think, when he has trunks, because it just almost looks like a diaper. <laughs> um, and I'm not, I'm not getting that as much with Batman because you get a little bit more, it's, it's a darker color yeah. on, on his trunks. Superman, it is- It's, it's reverse, it's, he's got a lighter It's trunk. a little lighter, it looks a little, so I pr actually would have preferred if they had used the new 52 no trunk Superman for this one. I think that might have looked a little bit better in that black and white scheme for me. A uh, little less diapery, but I still don't think he would have been one of my favorites. I think this is, 
if we hadn't gotten this for the review, this probably would have been a big old pass. And, <laughs> and in fact, guys, I did pass on it a couple of times before I finally decided FOMO we'll got the, the best on of it. it. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. I was gonna go ahead and get it. Just for you guys, just to put on the channel, let you know our thoughts. We'll give it our Just BSing rating. Chris, I'm gonna let you go first. What do you rate the SDCC exclusive three pack? With the uh, the figures themselves, I'm not too not too keen with them. Probably pass on them rating wise. I guess I would uh, gonna give this a I'm gonna give it a BS uh, yeah. for mm. the figures themselves. The box though. I like the box a lot. The box is very cool. <laughs> the box, I'm going to give a so good rating. The characters, I'm going to give a BS rating. Okay. <laughs> so I'm going to average it out just to be not BS. Gotcha. Just to say that the characters themselves are rated super low, but I love this box. Gotcha. Yeah. And so I'm kind of in the same boat. So the, the figures actually for me are going to be total BS. Yeah. Um, and that's, uh, again, guys, opinion, but just not something I would have been interested in if I wasn't on YouTube doing a review of them. I probably would have passed. Only the box art would have made me think twice about that. And I do 100% agree, love that box art, love the way it's gonna look displayed. If I could have just picked up the box, I would have done that for, you know, five or $10 or hey, something Hey, maybe like it'll that. be on eBay soon. Very, very it probably, <laughs> it, it already is, I am sure. It is, already is, I am sure. So figures, total BS, box, I agree as well. Um, I actually would, just again, this is discrepancy between box and figures. Um, I'm gonna give that good because it uh, doesn't 100% match what's inside. Yeah. But it's very cool, very cool nonetheless. So my combined rating, the SDCC exclusive, is gonna be a BS. So I'm actually going to take this and slide this guy back into the package because this is how I am going to be displaying <laughs> that for sure. And this is how I suggest anyone who is able to pick this up, if you're going to SDCC, let us know that down in the comments, by the way, if you're going. Um, probably gonna be some news. And actually keep an eye on this channel because if they do show maybe Wave 9 premiered at Todd McFarland's little sessions at, at SDCC. If so, we'll uh, either do a separate video on that or we'll pop those into our community tab. Um, get some photos up there so you guys can take a look at what Wave 9 might look like if they show anything new and exciting at SDCC. But if you're going, let us know down in the comments. We'd love to hear from you. Give us kind of an update on what you're seeing over there and um, definitely if anything Give cool. us a shout out while you're there yeah, too. Yeah, give us a shout out. <laughs> Tell people about us. Get, show them our channel. Um, and we would, we would uh, be glad to have some new friends uh, join us on this channel. This, guys, eh, for me, I think you could pass unless, like I said, you're a total completist, you're possibly going to SDCC already, or you find a legitimate seller on AliExpress or God forbid eBay, they're gonna be gouging you on eBay, 100% for sure. But we've seen actually a lot of people having great success picking this up on AliExpress. Uh, I think maybe even Bruno from Blast Process did as well. Bruno, if you're watching this, let us know down in the comments where you picked yours up. And if anyone else out there has already picked it up, let us know where you're getting them or if you have friends like us in Hong Kong. <laughs> uh, you don't have to give out any names or anything like that. We totally understand. But let us know where you've been able to find these for other people that might be looking for them. If you're kind of on the fence, you weren't sure, that, in our opinion, I don't think you're missing anything. I still think the box art is very cool. Mm -hmm. Not opening it up, you don't know that there's inside there is something a little bit underwhelming. <laughs> but uh, that's, again, just our opinion, guys. We'd love to hear what you think, so let us know down in the comments. If you haven't already, please like, please subscribe, please drop multiple comments. We'd love to see them. It helps us out as a small growing channel, and we really appreciate it. We love BSing with every single one of you whenever we get a chance. So until next time, have a great one, guys.